joining me now is a member of that bipartisan gun group, Senator Debbie Stabenow of Michigan. So, Senator, I understand just this morning there have been some complications in turning the framework into actual text. Can you just give us an update on where you guys are on writing this bill and, and your level of confidence that everything that was announced in the framework will be in the final bill? Well, Garrett, it's great to be with you. And, you know, there are always hiccups at the end. I've been involved in a lot of complicated negotiations uh, over my lifetime here in the Senate. And uh, there's always something that comes up at the end. So a mm -hmm. couple of things. They are not insurmountable. Uh, folks are working on them right now. On the uh, mental health side of things, we really uh, quickly getting things together, the language uh, that we need to tie down, we're doing. And on the other side, uh, most of it is tied down. And I know there's a great sense of urgency. And frankly, you were talking about Senator McConnell. That's a very important indication that we will have broad bipartisan support to get this done. And I want to thank everyone. This is happening because the people of the country have risen mm -hmm. up and said, enough is enough. We don't want to live like this. Senator, I'm curious about your state of Michigan. Michigan doesn't have a red flag law. You and I have talked about this a little bit. You've got a Democratic right. governor who would surely sign one. Um, right. Do you think either the uh, incentives in this framework or just the fact that a bipartisan past reform might take some of the, oh, that's a Democratic policy priority feeling off of the idea of a red flag law would help a state like Michigan put a law like that into practice? Well, I think that's a really important question, and I don't know in Michigan, we have a Republican legislature that has an awful lot of MAGA Republicans in it. Um, on the other hand, they're hearing, like all of us are in Michigan, from families uh, across the state, people who are so afraid to send their children to school or even to go shopping or worship, and, and people really have had enough. And so my feeling is that there's a, a chance that the state legislature will do it now. But we also have a very competitive map drawn for our state legislature. And if the Republicans aren't willing to put in place red flag laws and other common sense uh, gun laws, then a Democratic state house and Democratic state Senate will. So I think ultimately, if they don't act, it becomes a big issue for the fall mm -hmm. election. Senator, you and Roy Blunt wrote the mental health portion of this. It started as a pilot program in 10 states. It's going to expand. I'm curious what you make of the criticism that by including the mental health part of this, you give credence to some of the folks who say, oh, this isn't a gun issue. It's a mental health issue. I mean, why is it important to have uh, the mental health portion of this in this framework to you as a Democrat? Well, Garrett, first of all, this is a gun issue. Um, and so we have to be doing things to move forward that, that are meaningful on gun safety, no matter what. But we also have huge efforts that we need to put forward to have comprehensive community mental health and addiction services across this country. Now, I've said so many times that uh, one of five people in our country will have a mental illness. They are much more likely to be a victim of a crime than perpetrate one. We also know, though, that when you are getting a military assault weapon and going into school with the purpose of mm -hmm. gunning down children, obviously uh, there's instability there, for sure. But this is a moment to do really important things uh, in, in the community, in schools, uh, to embrace the fact that mental health services should be treated as health care and be available throughout the country. So I'm going to take this moment to do that because that's important. Uh, and we want to have everyone have the opportunity to get help that they need if it's health care above the neck as well as health care below the neck. Uh, at the same time, it doesn't take away any of what we need to be doing on guns. Yeah. Well, as somebody who comes from the state with the worst mental health care access in the nation, seems like a pretty worthy goal to me as a Texan. Senator Debbie Stabenow yes. of the great state yes. of Michigan, thank you for your time and your work on this.